today we're going to be doing some laborers. Now I'm just doing, uh, let me see here how many I've actually got on plan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine guild islands worth of laborers. These are just mercenary laborers. And uh, we're going to take a little timer here and see how fast I can do them. Uh, let's begin. So the first time that you do the mercenary laborers, you won't be collecting any books. So technically this whole process, you won't get paid the first time you do it. But as long as you have filled journals every single day for these guys, you're picking up the silver that they return to you, and then you're giving them a new book right away. And so it's just an endless extra supply of silver. And like I said, you do have to fill the journals yourself. Do not go to the market and just buy a filled journal. You will lose so much money because no one buys empty journals of mercenary. Like, it's not a thing that people normally do. A lot of people don't even use mercenary laborers because... A lot of people don't know how to efficiently fame farm and fill the journals. Now, uh, if you go to a tier 5 static zone, if you've been following my channel, you'll have a shadow color build all built up and ready to go. I can go in there and solo static tier 5 zones and fill all of these journals that I'm spending here in like less than 30 minutes. It's super quick to fill. Uh, and so if you were to do like one hour of fame farming each day and you had... 18 to 20 guild halls worth of mercenary laborers you're going to be making an extra million per day like you're going to spend one hour fame farming in that one hour just from the mercenaries you're going to be making a million silver when you turn in these journals and uh yeah it only takes me like today it took me a little longer about 12 minutes and that's because i had just filmed a fishing video my hand was super cramped and i'm quite out of practice uh, for the motions of swiping my mouse to the left and filling and you know adding the journals to the laborers And there we are 12 minutes 12 seconds uh, In order to do how many islands exactly was that that was one two three four five six seven eight nine islands uh, with 24 mercenary laborers each and uh, Come 22 hours from now. Uh, it's an, again another 12 minutes yeah, you swap out the books and you collect the silver every every day, 12 minutes a day, and that's it's going to be a lot of silver. I will show you guys 22 hours from now. It is now one day later, and we're going to pick up the Mercenary Laborer Journals, but first I'm just going to grab these Tier 5. Um, I'm already overloaded. Let's put on a backpack. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these uh, Tier 5 Skinner Journals real quick, which I didn't show. Uh, it, I only put nine out here. It's not a big deal, but we're just going to get a quick silver total. And there we go. Grab that. Grab that. It's got a few enchanted items, whatever. These are just tier five skinning journals. They take a, a lot longer to fill than the mercenary ones. But let's just see how much silver nine of those. Oh, that one leveled up. Let's level them up to tier six. Very cool. All right. So if we don't count the journals right now, this is worth 158,000. So that's good to know. But... That's, uh, that's fishing, uh, jur uh, laborers. We gotta go elsewhere. Let me pop open my, uh, uh, island management ledger. And we are going to go collect a bunch of silver now. And I don't need to time it again. We know it takes 12 minutes as of, you know, the previous, uh, footage here. So I'm just going to go ahead and yoink these. And, uh, I'll speed this part up for y'all. Actually, hold on. I gotta, I gotta do something to make it a little more, um official uh we're gonna put all of our um we're gonna put all of our silver into the guild real quick so we're at zero silver so you can see how much this earns so 1746 there 3492 there and that's because it doubled so there we go and uh you can see that's our you know just one of these houses has given us almost 7,000 silver and it's, you're, we're just clicking now normally I would be feeding new journals into these as I collect, but I haven't filled journals in a while, so I just I didn't feel like it. I just want to show you guys how much this earns, so I'm just going to speed up the footage now. So I forgot to mention also that uh, these are only Tier 5 islands. If these were upgraded to Tier 6, then I would have a 50% chance to double the silver. As of right now, their happiness levels, they only have a 30% chance to in or to double the silver so you can potentially make even more silver than what i'm showing in this video uh and uh it just takes you know tier six guild halls and tier six furniture which 
isn't too expensive. I believe I've made a video not too long ago showing uh, about Guild Halls, Guild Islands, and uh, yeah, it's a few million per, but you're going to make that back in, you know, a certain amount of days. I've, I've sh it's a complete separate video. I don't need to repeat all the data in this one. Go check it out if you want to learn more. But like I said, you know, this thing, th these mercenary laborers, they take like one hour to, f like, not, it, it would, it's 30 minutes to fill what I'm showing in the vid, but normally I, I fill them for one hour, and then that sets me for two days. So I play one hour, I've got two days worth of filled journals, and then I play for one hour, etc., etc. I'm not, like, doing it every single day, but lately I haven't really been needing to fame farm because I'm just waiting on new stuff to come out anyway, so I'm not really in the business of filling the journals anymore, but... I have been playing for many, many years, so if you're a new player and you get these rolling out, you're going to be doing this every day for years, and it's just extra money that just compounds and adds on top of what you're already earning. It's one of the better ways to make lots of basically passive income for doing something you're already going to do. And there we have it. That is nine guild islands completed. And in those nine guild islands, like I can fill this many journals in like 30 minutes easy just go to a tier 5 static or even tier 5 like group dungeon solo and that is 547,000 silver in what would only take 12 minutes a day and of course uh you know you do have to fill them yourself don't buy them from the market that's stupid but if you if you are fame farming and farming those combat fame credits then you might as well make some extra silver while you do it so there you go mercenary laborers Easy peasy money, and like I said, normally I would uh, swap them, you know, with fresh ones, but I haven't really been doing too much uh, laborers lately. I've been playing other games and stuff, so. Uh, also, uh, just a warning, if you put a journal onto a laborer, and you don't collect them after, like, it's like one or two weeks, I don't know the exact number, but it, it'll, they, they will eat the journal, and then you will lose it, so you have to collect them in one to two weeks, so make sure that you do that. And uh, I've got so many more filled journals that I need to, like, cycle through laborers and get these all done. Like, I have 999 stonecutter journals here that I need to, to do. And each of those gives uh, 57 uh, stone, and each of those stones are worth, like, 50-something. That's, like, 3 million right there. That's 3 million in journals that I've got to get through. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you've seen the power, the raw value of uh, mercenary laborers and just how simple and easy they are. Uh, go out there, get you some mercenary laborers. If you do lots of fame farming, obviously, if you don't fame farm, don't bother with mercenary laborers. And if you're not going to play this game for more than, like, say, a year, also don't bother with them. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, that you found it informative. I'm so Benji. Make sure you leave a like, uh, become a channel member, click the join button down below for more money making methods that are too good for the public. I read every comment. Make sure you're subscribed. I want to hit 100,000 subscribers here very shortly. And uh, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. If you don't click on it, you're going to get bird poop on you.